What's going on everyone? Welcome back. The circle video really got me thinking and hopefully got you thinking as well. Almost 90% of creative building in this game relies on ways to figure out how to change the grid size and maybe 10% if that on unique discoveries. All of us have been trying to change the grid to smaller ones like half or three quarters and combining them, but the circle made me think. What about the larger ones? We haven't really been trying to do that. This is how to make a buildable one and a half full grid, not a half and a full grid connected. It's also probably the solution to the curved stairs tech that got yoinked in the last patch, but this video won't be about that. To do this, we're gonna start off by building a one by three. Now that we have a one by three, I'm gonna grab a half log. and stack these three high. We're gonna skip the middle circle. And in a perfect world, that's all you need. But sometimes this is finicky, so it's nice to have a backup plan. And I also wanna show you something later anyway, so I'm gonna stack these twice. Again, we're gonna skip the middle. Now connect these with a full log on top. Now we're gonna add a quarter log on top of that. Now I'm gonna bring the log down from the quarter, which makes it a half snap point, which is very steep. Now when I pick this up, it's gonna move off to the right. And what this gives us is actually a one and a half full snap grid that we can build to. Now, I do want to point out that sometimes this doesn't happen. That's why I built two, because you always have a backup plan. Sometimes it does this, which only gives you a half grid, but it does give you a cool angle. Now that we have this grid, we can start experimenting with it a little bit. My favorite thing that I've come up with so far, making a 60 degree angle roof, or roughly. So to do that, you bring one down. The next one will either give you a red arrow or no arrow, like this case. The way to fix that is to come up top, plant a log on top of it, and now we can crisscross them. If we stand up the log that's attached by the beam that's going vertical, it'll actually snap up top of the other of the opposite one like that and now you more or less have roughly a 60 degree roof and this can come out so this is a 45 and you can see that the angles are different i'm going to bring this out one more just to show you that you can build on it So here's what it looks like with the roof. And I also want to point out that you can use stairs as well. This will probably be the solution to the curved stairs, honestly. The last thing I wanted to show you uh, with this technique of the three and then one across and two on top. I didn't figure this out originally. A YouTuber named Basio did, but he used a different technique and I found out by accident that it works with this same technique that we've been using this whole video. If you bring these out, bring these down. Now when you put the flooring on, if you have planks in your hand, you'll see how the arrow goes to the right. Now if you fight the game and the arrow, you'll get it to go to the left. 
Now this is important because the method actually twists the entire thing 90 degrees. And if it goes to the left, usually the bright side stays instead of flipping 90 degrees. After you get the first one done, you can just fill it right in. Now we're gonna grab a quarter log, throw that on top again. Don't connect the tops with a full. Now grab a full log again, bring that down as well. So it looks like this. When we pick these up now, because this doesn't have a connection point, it's gonna pull this log back. So you can have kind of like a twisted wall, or if you stand the other one up, you get the same effect as Bastia's original video. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Until the next one, I'll see you.